Yo, what is up guys? By the name of this title, you're probably here so you can see how to make your very own soft plastic bait for bass fishing, trout fishing, um, bullfrog fishing, which isn't fishing, it's frogging, but whatever decides to bite your lure, all right? So first of all, I'm gonna get into what you're gonna need to do this. It's quite a bit, so bear with me. Okay, so first and kind of most importantly, you are going to need soft plastic. Um, this is basically the main ingredient in any soft plastic bait. It's uh, basically liquefied plastic and you microwave it and it gets, uh, right now it's white. You can't really see in that one because this one's almost empty. That's why I have a spare. But it's white and then you microwave it and then it goes clear and then you add your colorants and it's basically whatever color you want. You can be as creative as you want with this. Um, this, basically all of this stuff I got off of uh, lure parts online. So if you want a link to any of this, that will be in the description uh, to kind of get you guys started. So soft plastic, first ingredient. Second, you're gonna want a, uh, like a microwavable cup, microwavable cup. It's a, you know, Pyrex kind of style. Anything that could be microwaved, this stuff gets very hot. I think 350 degrees is what I remember somebody saying it gets to. I don't have a thermometer. Next, you're going to need an injector. This is very important if you want your plastic to get into the mold so you can have a shape and body of your lure. So basically, you can either kind of slurp this stuff up out of there when the plastic is going or you can do what I do and I pour it into there and then I wear gloves because this stuff is insanely hot and this is just aluminum and it's very thin aluminum so this thing will burn you it's basically a loaded gun if this touches somebody it will burn them very badly um, you know if it's got the plastic in it obviously need some kind of a stirring tool to, you know, stir all your ingredients up. A mold. This I got off of Ultra Molds. This is a, uh, I believe a five inch lizard mold. This is very good. I've actually caught quite a few fish on my own baits that I've been making lately. Um, quite a few have been off of this lizard. I love this mold. It's a CNC machined, you know, very precise, very close to you know, there's no gaps in there or anything. It's just a great mold. I love it. These molds right here. This is from Do It Molds. This is part of the Essential series. So it came in like the same kind of, same length that this is in. Do It Molds Essential series. This is a 5 inch Senko mold. You know, Senko is like the most famous bass lure there is. So there's that. Clamps, clamp your molds together. You want some colorants to color your baits, obviously. Uh, I got some glitter to add some extra spice to my baits. And I wear a respirator just because this stuff smells very bad once it gets going. All right, now that we know the basics for the ingredients to make our baits, I'm gonna get right into showing you how to actually do that. So. I will have my respirator on while I'm doing this so I won't be able to talk. I can probably do a voiceover of it or I'll just do letters because I don't really want to talk. I'll just do letters. I'll do subtitles about my steps that I'm doing. Okay. Um, I'll put the respirator on once it actually starts going. Well, uh, prep work, I'll talk. You have to be stuck with my voice. So let's go right into making these baits. All right, so let's start doing this. You want to shake your plastic up because it does tend to settle. Alright, so that's going. I'll pour... Hmm. Uh, we'll try for six ounces if there is six ounces in there. I think we can get it out. Right about there. Okay. So we got our plastic here. 
So before I add any colors or glitter, you want to microwave this. We want to get this clear, so we got to heat this up. I like to start with an initial two minutes, and we'll wait for that to cook up. Okay, as this plastic is cooking, I'm going to put my mask on so I can protect my lungs. Ooh, dinner's ready. Okay, I'm going to put this on so I can breathe, okay? And I urge you when you are doing this yourself to please have a mask, okay? Please, you will screw your lungs up. And it just smells bad. Alrighty, let's check out how our baits turned out. I want to open the lizard first. Come on. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Dang. Look at that. That looks nice. Gonna have to use that. All right, so there's one bait. That's my lizard, right there. And let's see how the Sankos turned out. I'm excited about that lizard. I'm gonna have to use that sometime pretty soon. I might use that this Friday. Let's see how these Sankos turned out. Oh dang, looks promising. <sighs> dang. 
nothing bad. Look at those. Those are some great looking homemade soft plastic baits. And you could make your very own too. If you get yourself all set up with all that, you can have yourself quite a bit of fun making your own colors, making your own ingredients to put in. You can just have a lot of fun. I mean, I spent countless hours just standing at this bench, just thinking of ways I can make some sweet looking baits. And I think I just accomplished that again right in here. Let me make something clear. You will not save any money by making your own baits, okay? Don't believe anybody that tells you that they save money by making their own baits, because they do not. But what you will gain is quite a bit of fun, probably a couple more tugs on your line, because they've probably never seen a color that you're going to make, okay? I've never seen that color in a store, I think. I don't know, I might have... I've just seen a lot of baits, okay, but I, you know, I've never seen that color. I could say that's mine, my color, that's my color now. You know what? That's mine, okay? And you can say that because you made it yourself, right? So you won't save any money, but you will have a lot of fun. And you could be your town's bait supplier. I'm basically my town's bait supplier. I mean, it's sweet, you know, and it's fun. You just get to make stuff. Down here, listen to some tunes. I mean, nobody really listens to a radio like that anymore. Everybody's got Pandora and Spotify and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it is fun. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my very own soft plastic baits. And if you want any more videos like this, you know, just tell me. And I'll try to get some time and I'll think of something to do. Yeah, so subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I will be jumping over to this more. I know I've been saying that and I haven't uploaded for a long time, but I will be jumping back over to fishing and outside stuff and probably a couple more stuff thrown in there too. But this is fun. I want to keep doing this for you guys. If you guys like this, just tell me and I'll do it again. Okay. Thanks for watching. See ya.